Welcome to the Helvar Specification Campus. With our campus presentation, we want to demonstrate how to select the right lighting control system for the different spaces you have in your building and campus. Our example campus consists of three parts. The first is the older existing building. Second is the newer building. And third is the beautiful atrium that connects the two. Before we dive into the aspects of the different spaces and the lighting control system, let's take a step back and think about why. What are the high level objectives for any space of this kind when designing them? The first important point is sustainability. Whether it's energy usage or it's the carbon emissions, we want to help customers to make choices that are good for the planet. But we also need to be good for the people that are using the space as well as the planet. So understanding the needs of the actual space user, but also the facilities managers and other people who are using the space. We want to create the best possible conditions for the people to operate in. The next point is that we are not talking about the conditions of today. We also want to ensure that these improvements continue and we optimize these solutions for the lifetime of the building. We want to make decisions that are data driven in every space, every room. We have taken these aspects into consideration when selecting the lighting control system. So welcome to the Helvar Specification Campus. Atrium is the space where people enter the building. Therefore, it is needed to be such that it welcomes people, not just when they enter the building, but also from outside. It's the brand for the whole university. That's why there needs to be scenes that are automated through scheduling as well as then some manual overrides when there are certain events happening in this era. So that's why we have selected to use Helvar Imagine solution for the atrium area. But not just the atrium area, there are also then corridors, staircase beside it where actually we have selected the wireless Helvar Activate solution due to its easy installability and setup purposes. And therefore, with the node link, we can now control all of these areas when needed from the Helvar Imagine solution. Also, we are able to take occupancy data from the Active Ahead side. So, for example, when late in the evening, when the normal standard university opening hours are over, there may be still people exiting the building, for example, from the sports hall within the university campus. And as those people are approaching the atrium, we want to turn all, already another kind of scene on to the atrium side, so that there is enough of light for these people to be able to exit safely and securely. To wrap up, the atrium needs to be looking good, not just from the inside, but also from the outside. So it needs to be welcoming people to enter the building and to feel good inside the building. Also, there needs to be easy override options and scheduled lighting scenes to operate the building in a very easy manner. Welcome to one of the oldest parts of the campus, the sports hall. We know that there are different types of people who are using this space. It's not only the sports teams, but it can also be a variety of space users. Often the sports halls are used as examination spaces, for example. So there are multiple different users for this area. Therefore, it's important the space can be controlled locally and also remotely, as it's a really multi-purpose space. The high ceilings give its own requirements, particularly for maintenance and replacement works. For this space, we recommend our DALI 2 solution. Our DALI 2 system is powered by our Imagine solution. We have a fully comprehensive product and feature set for a modern lighting control system. A sports pool space requires the luminaires to be mounted higher up, typically with higher power and the sensors also need to detect people from a higher height. The maintenance can be very challenging in this type of application. So we're proposing here a luminaire-based sensor. 
This simplifies the installation and maintenance by reducing the different products installed as well as the cabling. The system needs to be easy to use as there are different people using the system. Teachers, visitors, students, facilities managers. It needs to be functional and easy. To make the lighting versatile for the variety of activities in the space, we've also given manual control to users with a simple scene panel interface so they can adjust the lights to scenes which best suit the activity. The office side of the building must be very flexible. It needs to adapt to the changing needs of the tenants who are using these areas. The layouts of these areas may change, even the tenants may change, so thus the lighting must be such that it's very easy to adapt to these changes over the time of few years or throughout the whole installation lifetime. That is why we have then selected the Helvar Activehead wireless lighting console solution for these office spaces and the corridors beside them. The Luminaires would be wireless. That makes the installation very flexible and easy. So all you need is mains wires to the wireless luminaires and these luminaires can communicate among themselves wirelessly through the ActiveHead protocol. On the corridors, what is there important is that it's easy to renovate. This is the part of the building which has been renovated and thus we want the lighting installation to be such that you just plug in a new luminaire and you have an operational lighting within the corridors. The corridors are also there then for to use corridor hold with the meeting rooms beside the corridors. So during the daytime when the office space is used and the meeting rooms are used, of course, all the areas are pretty much all the time uh, lit on. But when people then exit the building and the meeting is rooms are still occupied while the office space beside them start to be unoccupied. That's when we use corridor hold to maintain the lights outside the meeting room so that the people still left in the meeting room are feeling safe and secure. So to wrap up the office space, it needs to be very flexible. It needs to be such that can easily be adapted to the changing needs of the tenants and also the comfort aspect of the space user is important and energy saving as well. A showcase for every campus are the auditoriums and lecture halls. This is where the main learning and teaching happens. It's also a place where people spend a lot of their day, sitting typically with a lack of natural daylight. Therefore, we want to provide the best lighting experience. The lighting needs to be flexible to cater for the different styles of teaching and studying, such as workshops, collaboration, debates, as well as the traditional lectures. The lighting needs to be able to adapt to the needs of each of these unique situations. Similar to the sports hall, there are also very different kinds of users wanting to use the space to be just right for them not just for controlling the lighting this time, but also devices such as the projector, AV and other systems. This is a very natural place to use a DALI 2 system again, due to the flexibility, integration and automation options. The Imagine DALI 2 system simplifies the experience from a user perspective and enhances the occupant experience. For example, a lecturer can press a single button called Presentation on our scene touch panel and the lights will automatically dim and go to a desired tunable white colour, the window blinds will close, the projector turns on and the projector screen lowers, all at the touch of a button. If integrated to the BMS via BACnet for example, greater efficiency savings are possible by integrating data from our sensors such as occupancy and scene data as examples. This gives the means for the BMS to lower HVAC systems accordingly and save further energy. Circadian lighting is also a much welcome feature, as students and lecturers would likely be in a space for several hours at a time. Light over time allows creation of custom circadian rhythms, which can be scheduled or triggered on demand. Different rhythms can also be used 
at different seasons, days or months to better align with our natural conditions and rhythms, allowing for that enhanced teaching experience. Classrooms of this university must be such that they are easy to renovate. Classrooms are pretty much the same throughout the whole university. So a solution fit for these classrooms are such that it's very easy to copy and paste and to do one at a time when the university is being renovated. Also, naturally, the comfort aspect of the people in these classrooms, meaning the students, they must feel good and they must feel such that they can actually learn through the university studies that they do. And therefore, we have selected the ActiveHead solution with the DALI luminaires using the Node Advanced and System Sensors on the DALI side to have a very easy to set up classroom so that you can do one classroom at a time when renovating and then you move on to the next room to do that one. But in addition to the ActiveHead solution, we have selected to use the Helvar Senses, the environmental sensor to measure how is the air quality in the room, how is the acoustic levels in the room, so that we can tune the air conditioning, for example, in the room, so that that actually supports the learning of the people, meaning the students in this room. So Node Advanced together with DALI luminaires and DALI sensors, wireless wall panels, that's a very good package for a classroom, very easy to set up, very easy to maintain and modify when needed. For example, when different kind of scenes are used and needed in that classroom. And for the environmental sensor, as said, there we want to see how the air quality is in the room, how it is maybe then adapting uh, or changing when some changes and adjustments are done in the air conditioning side or ventilation systems, etc. So, in classrooms, they need to be supporting the learning of the students. Thus, we need to be able to measure and also act upon the needed uh, air quality measurements that we do in the spaces and also from the lighting perspective, it needs to be easy to set up, easy to operate, so that the people using these spaces know that how do I operate this classroom. The science lab in the university is such that safety and security is the most important factor. Naturally, the lighting must be such that you can actually see very well in the spaces because you might be dealing with substances which are very dangerous as such. So, of course, bright, good lighting such that it allows you to see in very much in detail is needed. And also manual options to then override, do different scenes in the space. They are needed from the lighting perspective. But especially the safety of the people operating there and also the chemicals stored in the rooms need to be kept in safety conditions so that we have the right temperature, the right air pressure, uh, the right amount of, or let's say, not too much uh, volatile compounds in the air, etc. And for that purposes, we need to be able to measure what is the air quality, how much there are, for example, volatile compounds in that space and not that we have overly uh, running ventilation for example too heavy ventilation in the room because that also is then excessively uh, burning energy while we want to optimize the energy so that we have a good safe environment but also optimized energy savings that we are not overly running ventilation when it's not actually needed. That is why in these phases we have the Helvar ActiveHead solution for the lighting controls and then Helvar Senses to actually monitor and adjust the building uh, systems so that they are optimizing the spaces for the people in them as well as the chemicals stored in these premises. 
So the environmental sensor in the ceiling is in the room, but also in addition to the environmental sensor, we are using expansion sensors to also indicate to people that what are currently the lighting or uh, air quality conditions in this space. So people can also visually see how is the CO2 levels, what is the temperature in this room. So if they start to feel that, hey, it might be wrong, they can actually check if that's the case. So safety and security is the most important aspect when, in, uh, when we are in, in science lab. But of course also the lighting must be easy to operate. You may have manual override needs, etc. Welcome back. Now you've visited all the spaces at our beautiful campus, let's take a different look. It's not only the users and visitors who need to enjoy the spaces. Behind the scenes is the estates and facilities management teams who are taking care of the buildings. There are multiple different systems to manage and maintain across the whole campus. We need to make it operationally efficient and cost effective as possible. Therefore, we have offered Helvar Insights onto the campus. With Insights, facilities managers can optimize and manage the energy usage, occupancy, lighting maintenance, and even the comfort for the various spaces. The pressure to make these operations more cost-effective is increasing all the time. There are new technologies coming into the market, and the FM teams are always on a learning curve on how to use them. Therefore, the kind of service providers like Helvar need to tackle the challenges also from their perspective. The way that we've built Helvar Insights is that it's very easy to use. We want to make it very visual. We want to make it very concrete to find and address issues when they occur, or even better, before they occur. We start with the monitoring and control module for Insights, which is the base module of the service. This module is specifically aimed at maintenance teams of the campus. Everything the FM would like to know from the status and the health of the system can be seen here, all from one location for the entire campus. They can also take control remotely and edit key parameters when needed, such as PIR timeouts and schedules. To further increase the knowledge of how well the spaces are operating, we have the additional operating module. This module shows the FM and energy managers how energy is being used down to a room and space level. It also provides other useful data, such as operating hours of the luminaires, so predictive maintenance can be scheduled. The next module we're talking about is occupancy. This data is for the tenant as well as the FM. The system collects triggers from the lighting control sensors, which are typically the most dense in a building and shows the space utilization of spaces allowing data-driven decisions to be made on how to maximize every square meter of the campus. The latest module for Insights is called Wellbeing. This is a part of our Helvar Sensors solution, where we can measure and monitor environmental conditions, such as air quality and thermal comfort. Measuring environmental conditions can not only help to improve the occupant experience, but combining the data with other insights data, such as occupancy, can save a huge amount of money and energy over the lifetime of the campus. Finally, the data from insights can be shared with third-party systems by REST API. This integration can build university digital twins, making for a fully future-proof campus. We hope you have enjoyed our walkthrough of the Helvar specification campus and all that Helvar has to offer. Thank you for watching.